Okay guys, I'm here to make a quick video. I uh, recently got the Xbox One X and uh, it just didn't seem like it was doing what it was supposed to do as far as the video. Uh, the video clarity and HDR and all that kind of stuff. And I was, uh, I was a little bit disappointed. And so I started going into the settings and uh, I noticed that um, I really wasn't getting what I was supposed to be getting. Um, and I thought maybe it was my TV just wasn't capable of it. So I went down in here to, uh, let's see, display and sound, and then video output, and then I went down to advanced video settings, and then uh, the 4K TV details, and I noticed I had all this stuff right here, um, and it just looked like it didn't support much. So, you know, I left it like that for a couple of days, and I just thought, well, I guess that's just the way it is. And uh, this is actually a Sony XBR uh, 850D, you know, so it's not the top of the line TV, but it's it's decent. Um, but I just kind of thought that's the way it was. So a couple days go by and started thinking about it. And I thought, you know what, maybe there's something in my TV settings. Um, so what I did was I went back to uh, my TV settings, started fishing around. Let's go there. And... Uh, and your TV might be different, but if you're having this issue, I suspect it may be uh, basically the same problem. So I went to external inputs, and actually I fished around for a minute before I found this, but I ended up going right here to HDMI signal format. I clicked on that, and my Xbox is connected to HDMI 3, and I noticed it said standard format. So of course I clicked down, I hit enhanced, and uh, of course, the TV has to reboot. So we'll just uh, be a little patient here. Um, this is this Sony TV actually runs Android. I usually always went with a Samsung TV in the recent years, and I ended up picking up the Sony up uh, from Best Buy. It's a uh, it's turned out to be a pretty good TV. The fact that it has Android on it is actually um, pretty awesome. You know, you really don't need any type of uh, Roku or any, I mean, Fire Stick, nothing like that. This, the, the Android TV, basically you can do whatever you want. You can put apps on there from the Play Store. Um, works great, actually. I really enjoy it. Um, it's been a pretty good TV. Um, you can see the screen has a little bit of uniformity issues. if. My wife likes to uh, dust it, so it makes it worse. But if you really get down there and you and you and you uh, smooth it over, it actually helps the uniformity. But in day to day use, you can't even you can't even tell. So it's not that big of a deal. But we'll let this boot up. Let's go back to uh, go back to the Xbox. I say this is an actual Android operating system, so again, that I was gonna take a second to to get going. So we'll go back to Xbox after we made that change. So let's go back in here to the 4K TV details, and voila, everything. I basically check marked everything, and. I mean, I really did see a difference in the, uh, in the basically the HDR and the colors, and it just it looks way better. I went back and forth, and and you know changing it back, and, and it it does make a pretty big difference. Now, um, I was just playing Halo Five, and it just looks, it it basically looks like what I thought it was gonna look like. Is it a huge jump? You know, going from my old Xbox. I mean, it's you know it's not from going from a Nintendo to to that but it, it's a pretty big jump and it, it, it is nice and the Xbox has been great I mean you know it's not loud it's it just been great so once you get this setting going right here um, you'll, you'll feel a lot better about your purchase you know $500 console and uh, anyways just want to make this quick video hopefully I can help somebody else out they might have the same issue I have just go to your TV settings check it out see if maybe it'll help you uh, Anyways, signing off. Hope everybody uh, can figure it out. Loving the new Xbox. Peace.